Hey guys, Tim here. Or, well, here. Or here. Or here. Uh, apparently, my new setup's not great for big boxes. Stay tuned for the future. Okay, so this is going to be a strange unboxing. Mm, because I haven't done anything this big in the new area yet. So, you're not going to see a lot of me for a while. Here we go. So this is the Solid Doodle. Handmade in Brooklyn, New York. And hopefully UPS didn't destroy it on its way here because it has a pretty good uh, bonk in the box nice good quality foam I wouldn't expect anything less from you know mailing a 3d printer the accessory bag we'll get to that in a minute There's a little power cord down here somewhere there we go it's the power cord and now uh, oh yeah, this this box took a pretty good hit. Hopefully this is okay. So there's actually a hole punched in the box, which I didn't even notice earlier. And there she is for now. So little little tiny scratch right here. So far the only thing I see wrong. Would have been nice to see the plastic bag around the whole unit instead of just on the door. Um, yeah, everything else looks okay. It did take a pretty big hit. Uh, there's actually a hole punched in the box, so thank you UPS as always. I have no idea what you guys do to your boxes. Because like four cases I've received and this, all punched holes in the boxes. We have a magnetically attached front door. There's some protection on the plexiglass. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Um, I think the top opens. Yep, there we go. So, back up I go. Uh, nice foam, or foam, um, bubble wrap inside to protect the print head and the mechanics. So everything Everything looks okay. All the rods still look straight in here. Um, the rods that guide it up and down. I'll be really careful on packaging this. So we have a heated uh, print tray. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but there we go. Dink! So you'll get a better tour of this when I'm doing some printing, but you have a heated print tray. You have your side, so your forward and backwards are belts on the side. Your up and downs, actually a threaded rod in the back. Looks like it made it through uh, the ridiculousness that is UPS. It's got a little fan back here. which has paper on it. I'm guessing they forgot to remove that. But it's a nice little system. And for the price, you know, we'll have to, we'll have to see how she does when she's printing. But for the price, it's kind of hard to beat. So that the front door doesn't shut all the way. So, hmm, 
I'll have to read the instructions and see. It looks like the magnet's a little proud. Because um, I would think that if you have a heated bed and a uh, you know a heated box that you don't want the front to be open a little bit but we'll have to check that out that's no biggie but needless to say I'm uh, pretty excited for this and you're gonna start seeing some 3d printing on the channel it's gonna live right behind me over here and uh, we'll see how we do I'm gonna Get barnacles to come over and give me a hand maybe so that I don't break it five seconds into using it but until next time and the first run of this machine oh, oh accessories goodness gracious great balls of something or another okay got so excited with the printer I almost forgot we have your join us online a little bit of test filament, a USB cable, um, feet? I don't know, we'll see what that is in a second here. It might be for the spool on the back. A cleaning kit, it's got a little toothbrush and a scraper, uh, what looks like a nozzle cleaner and some little pincers aha that's what that is so this is for the back so I will say here's my tip for solid doodle MEK is your friend it'll take the red crap off of the spool and all you have to do is wipe it with a rag and it'll clean the inside of the machine where there's some manufacturing dirt left so if you could wipe it down with some MEK methyl ethyl ketone before you send it out, uh, it would take you like 30 seconds and would be a much better user experience because now I'm going to have to wipe it all down with MEK and that's not exactly what I was paying for. So these, this is one thing I really do like. A lot of these don't, I'll bitch about the, the, the stuff and then I'll tell you why I think it's awesome. So a lot of machines don't come with a spool holder. So this just goes on the back and there's just some punch outs in the back for it to slide down into. And all of you are like, we can't see crap because it's behind. But it just slides down in and snaps into place. And then you have a nice little spool holder back there for your uh, filament. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully that'll you know, do a decent job of keeping it from kinking. Because I know that is something that happens from time to time. Um, you know, they did think of little things like their whoops. There are some supports back here so that the lid doesn't like flop over and rip its hinges out. Um, the engineering on it, I'm really impressed with. It looks like there's actually some of the parts on the travel pieces are 3D printed. Uh, which means if they break, you can probably get somebody to 3D print you some. Uh... But that said, you know, it's really the engineering of this thing and the price that it comes in at is really impressive. So there's one more bag of stuff somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, sorry. There's a box of stuff somewhere. I'm guessing it's the power supply. Because it's huge. Oh, yeah, that's the power brick. So we have... What of course I did with, oh, on the inside there was this, and then there was this. There she is. So pretty excited to get using it, and uh, you'll see some videos soon of probably me messing things up horribly. But until then, this really is the end, my friends. This is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. We'll see you next time.